There are several ways tectonic plates can interact. One has divergent boundaries, transform boundaries, and convergent boundaries, which include subduction zones and organic belts. But either way, these plates are very, very large. And by large, I mean huge. This is the size of Pasadena, and this is the size of Los Angeles. And speaking of Los Angeles, the first tectonic plate motion I will talk about is that of the San Andreas Fault, which is quite close to it. Faults like these are transform boundaries, where two plates grind past each other with only limited convergent or divergent activity. That will cause earthquakes, but at least it isn't a volcano. Speaking of which, subduction zones in the category of convergent boundaries. Here, an oceanic plate goes under a continental plate and forms, you guessed it, a volcano. Continental crust often develops at the edge of the continental plates via arc lava and futons accumulating at the bottom of the arc crust. Another type of convergent boundary is an organic belt, which creates mountains. Pretty huge, no? Additionally, obduction is another type as well, where continental plate goes under an oceanic plate. But these are not too common due to oceanic plates generally being lighter than oceanic plates, and even then, the oceanic plate usually buckles, resulting in a mid-ocean ridge forming and turning abduction into subduction. The last type of basic tectonic motion I will talk about is divergent boundaries. Here, plates move away from each other, creating mid-oceanic ridges or rift valleys. One can see these in Iceland. Additionally, there's a fourth mixed type according to Wikipedia and its sources. But, uh, I won't say that, and that's all for this video. Have a nice day!